darling friends and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining then hello hi my name is Foy and welcome to the Foy Hive I will be a youtuber for the day and I'm so excited to finally kickstart the series that I've been trying to do for the past few months and it is the beauty breakdown series so in this series what we'll be doing is breaking up each part of makeup bit by bit incremental like increment just so that everyone will always have a bank of content that they can refer back to if they need to or if they're a beginner, something that they can watch in little bite-sized portions that will teach them exactly what they want to know in a quick bite-sized format. So today I'm going to start with what I usually start with in my makeup routine and that is making sure my brows are hot in check. So I have been doing my brows myself for like four years now, like I literally have not had my brows professionally done, maybe once by a brand, but as in like I generally maintain the upkeep of my brows and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I do it. It is pretty quick and easy, it takes some practice to get to know your face and to have some control over the blade, but other than that, it is super quick and simple. So if this is the type of content that you are looking for, if this is something that you're trying to achieve by yourself, then just keep watching, but before we go anywhere with me, the girls to subscribe to the content please click that subscribe button we're on the road to 10k and we are making headway but we want to keep the momentum going so just hit that button and let's get into this video so yeah guys by now you can see that the brows are doing their fair share of whatever they want this is probably the most unkempt I've kept my brows in a long time I literally haven't done them in just over two months so this is pretty much as natural as it gets this is what my brows look like in the most like natural state and I feel like this is a really good starting point because you can see my brows are not twins and I personally personally believe that my brows should be twins I like them to look as close to identical as they can because I also feel like that makes my face look more symmetrical and also just gives my face a lot more structure so as we can see this one is a lot more rounded without a defined arch and this one has a pretty decent arch and then thins out towards the edge so the aim now is to make them similar in a shape that will complement my face so we all have different face shapes mine is actually quite square if we think about it because my my hairline goes up to here so it's pretty square I have like decent sized forehead and ratio and I found what works best for me is just like a nice soft natural arch in my brows so I feel like there are sort of makeup rules as to which brow shape suits um, which face shape better like if you are more square you need a bit more of a defined arch if you're rounder your brows will be rounder or straighter um, but I feel like the soft arch typically suits everyone well that is why it's a default for a lot of people and makeup artists not in the way that everyone does the exact same brow on everyone's face but in the sense that it is quite an easy and flattering shape on everyone but obviously you will use your discretion to go what works best on your face so how to do the soft arch brow it is basically it lines it starts up as it lines up with your nostril as you take a pencil a line a spoolie from your nostril through your eye that is where your arch should roughly be and then if you extend that outwards from the end of your eye that is about where your brow will stop so naturally this will all take different forms on different faces but that's like a nice rough outline on how to do your brows and then you'll get more comfortable in doing your own brow as you go along this method is adaptable which is really nice as you'll see when I'm filling my brows there are ways to make it fluffier if you just want to do a quick fluffy brow and leave it at that there are ways to make it more like arched hard and defined if that is your sort of brow I like a sort of happy medium in between because the fluffy brow ain't for me especially with the way my natural brow is set up and I've made peace with that I've made peace with it. it's just it's not for everyone it's not for, it's not by force it's not by fire by force so I cannot come and kill myself so I'm literally just gonna keep it moving so in order to do your brows, there are about six things that you will need. You will need blades. I like to use Tiger brand. My mom literally gets this from Nigeria, but I'm pretty sure you can get it at Nigerian shops. You can also just get blades from a pharmacy and they also have razor blades for brows, specifically available at Clicks and Discamp, so you can also use those. I'm very comfortable with a blade by itself, so that is what I use and I've been using since makeup school. That's what they teach you in Nigeria. They teach you how to use a blade because that's what people do. Then you'll need your brow pencil of choice. 
I'm a big fan of a lot of pencils. I typically tend towards like micro pencils and little crayons like that. Um, but I do like a variety of pencils from your NYX Micro Precise to your Essence Micro Precise and also your Revlon Brow Creator, your benefit products for, for those with a bit more budget. Um, and my pencil of choice right now is definitely the Revlon Micro Precision Gel Eyeliner. It's actually an eyeliner. So it is a very little amount of product in the product which is frustrating because you have to buy it frequently but it is so pigmented and so fine that i feel like you can get a really cool fluffy brow defined brow somewhere in between for everyone then i use a beach brow by switch beauty in the color zero so it is just a clear gel um, to brush through afterwards you need some baby scissors to do some trimming and shaping You'll need a spoolie. This is spoolie and brush two in one from Beauty by Zara, but you really only need the spoolie. And then you will need concealer and a really flat, really small brush. Um, I like a rounded one instead of a flat one, but both can work equally well depending on your personal preferences. So for the concealers, you need something in your skin tone and you need something lighter, two shades lighter. That's why I just use the, the palette. Now that I'm getting all up close and personal, we're gonna start on this brow and we're gonna look at it as it is. Once we have brushed up the brow, we're gonna trim it roughly into place using our baby scissors. So we're just gonna snip all of the hairs that are too long. Now, if you want and like a fluffy brow, you wouldn't really do this step that much up here, but personally, I like to just make sure everything is in line. Then we brush it down, and you can see that there's still quite a bit of difference in the hair um, and the shape that I want, so I'm just gonna trim up those hairs as well. This will help naturally just thin out your brow. Okay, now that we can see my bra is thinned out a little bit more, we're gonna get a brand new blade. The nice thing about doing your brows at home is that you can touch them up whenever you want, so please don't ask me why I haven't done my brows in over two and a half months. Just don't, don't do that. Okay, so from the top we're looking and we're seeing that maybe there's just a bit of hair outside of the shape, or maybe you have edges or sideburns that touch your bra. Here we're just creating a line of separation. We're gonna be literally scraping the skin as if we're like dermaplaning, so we're literally just going parallel to the skin. You pull it up to get taut and you just gently shave down. Then this is the real gag. This is the real thing that makes the world of difference. You're gonna lift up and this is where I want my arch to be roughly. So I need the end to thin out of it. So we lift that up and we just clean up underneath. Cleaning up underneath your brows is what gives your face that lift, what creates that natural highlight underneath and what just makes everything look super, super clean. Okay, so as you can see, the shape is a lot more defined already and it's just thinned out the brow a lot. I prefer to start from a center point because then when I draw, it fills it out naturally without it looking too overwhelming for my face. So now I'm quickly gonna do the other side. This one is a bit more of a challenge, but that is where you really, really, really can see like where all of the, the definition comes through. Okay, so now that you can see everything has been thinned out, I'm just gonna spritz some dewy setting spray, some superhero spray, so you just calm down any post shave information. Okay, and then this is pretty much all that happens right now. I'm gonna skip ahead to when I do my brows, which is at the end of my face. So I like to do my full face routine, my foundation, concealers, powder, all of before I like to do my brows. And I find that because it helps give my brows a more natural look. I know it sounds weird putting brow products on top of a bunch of cake products, but I find that in this state, with my skin and everything, putting brow products directly onto here, ends up giving you that like really shiny brow that like looks like you put a lot of product on, it's reflecting, you see all of the oil coming out from your skin and the product doesn't stick and stay as long as it could. So once you've already put foundation on and powder and already taken away some of that natural oiliness and put that barrier between your skin and your hair 
and the brow product i find that it lasts much longer it looks much neater and it doesn't give you that really shiny look afterwards i find that to get a more natural brow putting it on top of product even if you don't want to do it at the end of your makeup um, and you want to do your eyeshadow and stuff first applying concealer and then powder on top of your brows helps you definitely get that sort of look Okay, I'm back with my full face basically done. I'm gonna take this Revlon Colorstay Micro Hyper Precision Gel Liner. It is specifically this one. And this is the shade in brown. And it comes out looking like this. That is what you want, this tiny little pencil. So we're gonna first brush up so that we have this defined shape. And like before, we're gonna take our pencil, starting here, arching towards there, ending towards there. I like to take this and draw an outline underneath, kind of like a solid line, and you'll see why I do that. So there we have our line and our kind of curve, um, as you can see that it follows there, and that kind of sets the tone for how the brow is going to look. Now starting towards the edge, as you can see, this kind of already flared out my little pencil, and we're just going to draw strokes out. That's why this pencil is so great because it's an eyeliner. It is so, so, so pigmented. So you really have to kind of take your time. We're gonna draw our hairs. This is also why we thin out our brows before so that we have enough like transparency so that these lines kind of show through. In the front, you get pretty, really light-handed and then we draw. So if you were to just do a fluffy brow, you kind of stop here and you would just kind of make sure the shape is a bit defined like that. I'm okay slightly going a bit above my brow because I'm going to clean it up afterwards. Make sure to extend a bit when it's your arch because it'll kind of need that support and then we do the same to the other eye. Okay, so once that's done, you're probably going to be looking a little bit bewildered. So we're going to brush that through and then you're kind of going to see the effects of doing those hair like strokes. And then you'll also be able to see where you left some pretty huge gaps. But at the same time, the brows aren't like drawn in. You can tell that I've definitely put product, but it's not as hectic as in like coloring in and filling in your brows like that. So using this MAC palette, I'm going to go into like the NC45 shade, which is just a tinge lighter than mine. And I'm just going to go in there. And that's why you need like a very flat, very precise one, because this is what cleans it up and makes a world of difference. So from underneath, kind of starting around the arch, we're going to define. Okay, cool, so we've got that underline, and I kind of bring it up here and blend it onto the nose, kind of carving out the nose contour as well. And then I also go into the curve of my eye and I do that there, so that when I blend, I kind of still retain that nose contour curve. So this is pretty much why you want your Thing to be super super precise your brush to be super precise because already it has made a world of difference now if you wanted a fluffy brow you would have either used soap beforehand or you can use a brow gel afterwards and you kind of pretty much be done you just blend in and your eyeshadow etc and then everything would look perfectly fine so I'm gonna continue with that to show you how I finish off my look now to do the top part of my brow um, I like to use a concealer that is my skin tone. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Eraser in Coco. And this is where we just, not from the very beginning, kind of like from three quarters in. And then now I kind of just go back and forth trying to make them look as close to symmetrical as I can. Um, and then just anywhere that I went a little bit too heavy handed with the concealer and just trying to even them out. Now for some this could still be a bit too hectic and that's fine because we're not finished. I'm going to take my brow gel and then just brush that through and then just trying to keep the brows in shape and doing this also takes off a little bit of excess product. It gives them a bit more of a natural feel. And if you're still a bit unhappy with that, I just take a bit of excess powder on my powder brush and then I also just do that a bit and all of that helps it feel a little bit more subtle. And that is 
it that is the final tutorial on how to get my updated brow routine this is what it looks like in the end with all the products on and i hope that you found this valuable and enjoyable remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you on the next beauty breakdown